Hello and welcome children to the online classes. Today we are going to study a new chapter that is Karna adapted from the retelling of Mahabharata written by C. Raja Gopalachari. Now we know that Mahabharata is one of the two major Sanskrit epics of ancient India written by Ved Vyas originally and which narrates the struggles between two groups of cousins in the Kurukshetra war and the fates of those two cousins, namely Kauravas and the Pandavas princes and their successors. So the story which we are going to study is actually a short excerpt taken from the retelling of Mahabharata by C. Raja Gopalachari. So before we go into the chapter, let us study a short introduction to the author. Chakravarti Raja Gopalachari, also known as Rajaji, was born on 10th December 1878. He was an Indian politician, independence activist, lawyer, writer, historian and statesman. His works include the abridged retellings of Mahabharata and Ramayana in English. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award for his Tamil version of Ramayana. Rajaji regarded his literary work as the best service he had rendered to the people. So let's move on to the chapter now. Turn to page number 47. The Mahabharata is the story of the lifelong rivalry. Rivalry means competitiveness between the Pandavas, the five brothers, who were princes of the kingdom of Hastinapur and the Kauravas, their royal cousins. So Mahabharata is a story about the rivalry between Pandavas and Kauravas. Okay, we all know about that. So once the princes had completed their studies in the art of warfare, a day was fixed for them to exhibit their skills and an open contest was declared. Anyone could challenge them. The royal family and the public had gathered in the arena to watch the exhibition. So in ancient world, uh, children were sent to Gurukuls, basically the young princes. Okay. So they, when they were very young, like in childhood itself, they were sent to Gurukul to learn the techniques of warfare and uh, the, to learn how to lead their life when they grow up. Okay. So even these uh, Kauravas and Pandavas were sent to the Gurukul to learn the techniques of warfare. Okay, how to fight a war and various uh, how to fight with various weapons to learn their techniques. So after they finish uh, learning, they came back and a day was fixed for them to exhibit their skills. So whatever they have learned in Gurukul and uh, in whatever warfare or in whatever weapon they have mastered into that was to be tested in an open contest and then anyone in that contest can come and challenge them so now in this scene we see that the royal family and the public had gathered in an open arena arena means it's a place okay a big place a ground kind of where uh, the princes and the kings and the queens have gathered in one corner and it is surrounded the place is also surrounded by uh, the public uh, and everybody has come there to watch the exhibition what was the exhibition for it was to display the skills of warfare learned by the um, Kauravas and the Pandavas in the Gurukul. Arjuna the third of the Pandavas displayed superhuman skills with his weapons the crowd was lost in wonder and admiration so Arjuna was the third brother of the Pandavas okay I mean he was number three they were five brothers so Arjuna was the third one and he displayed superhuman skills with his weapon so Arjun was extraordinarily good in archery okay so he displayed certain skills which were out of the world nobody would have ever imagined so he was so good in archery and that's why the public the general public or the crowd which had gathered over there in that arena they were i mean they were wondering how could he do all these things and they were looking at him with awe okay duryodhana's brow was dark with envy and hate so envy means jealousy now looking at his superhuman skills whose superhuman skills arjun's okay so Dur duryodhan became very jealous and he hated the Pandavas since childhood a lot. So this made him hate them more. 
suddenly from the entrance of the arena entrance means the place from where the people gets inside into the compound okay there came a sound as loud and compelling compelling means attracting attention so a loud sound just like a thunder a loud sound came from the entrance of the arena and people were looking over there all eyes turned in that direction and everybody started looking at the gate like who is entering the newcomer was karna now who is this person the newcomer is karn he strode up to arjuna arjuna i shall so greater skill than you have displayed so he went slowly to arjun and he he was also very you know jealous or you can say very angry or, or he was also proud of his skills who was proud even karn was also proud of his skill so he challenged arjun that i will be showing much more greater skills than what you have displayed over here then the youth from whom light and power seemed to emanate duplicated all of arjun's feats with careless ease so now emanate means radiate okay so karn's persona was such that it looked as if light and a strong power was radiating out of his body okay and very easily he duplicated all those skills which arjun had displayed a while ago with his bow and arrow duryodhan was ecstatic ecstatic means thrilled he threw his arms around karna so he was extremely happy to see that there was finally someone who could challenge arjun and who could would copy arjun's skills as good as he did himself okay who as good as arjun okay so arjun was not the one who was so good in um archery even the karn is also a person who is exceptionally good in archery and that made him duryodhan happy and he embraced him and welcomed him as a friend welcome you whom good fortune had sent to me i and this kingdom of the kurus are at your command and he welcomed karn in his side and he is saying that we are grateful to you and me along with the entire kuru kingdom will work in your command i karna i am grateful o king only two things i seek your love and single combat with arjuna so karna was a very grateful kind of person he was very humble okay nobody knows that he is the god of sun as well as kunti kunti is the mother of those five pandavas but nobody is knowing this now okay and he was very humble and generous so he sa- said to duryodhan that i'm very grateful that you're welcoming me as your friend but i only need two things from you one is your love and affection and the second is one single combat one single fight with arjun my prosperity is yours to enjoy and duryodhan says whatever i have it is all for you you are also going to enjoy my prosperity as love flooded duryodhan's heart ba- and arjun's heart was filled with wrath wrath means pain he was hurt why because he took it as an insult he was very proud of himself he thought he is the best archer in the world but no he was not even karn was equally good and when karn proved this in that open arena in front of everyone arjun felt insulted karn when i have slain slain means killed when i have slain you you shall go to the hell appointed for those who intrude uninvented and boast without limit intrude means come into somebody's uh, boundary without invitation okay so he was extremely angry on karn and is saying to karn that i will kill you okay and when i will kill you you will go to hell which is meant for those people who come to somebody else's territory and then boast and feel proud and just show off what they are capable of doing this arena is open to all arjun and not to you alone what is the use of mate talk which is the weapon of the week shoot arrows instead of words so now duryodhan is uh, saying that this uh, 
arena this place this open place is not only meant for you arjun it's for everyone and why are you talking so much talks are the weapons of weak people weak people love to talk but they don't do anything much okay so if you are not weak you want to prove yourself too strong you shoot your arrows instead of your words the two men prepared to face each other so both of them karna as well as arjun prepared to face each other and start a fight suddenly they were interrupted by guru kripa young man the prince who is ready to fight with you is the son of royalty a sion of the kuru race sion means descended so guru kripa interrupts arjun and karn and he says to karn that young man the prince who is going to fight with you now is born in a royal family he is the descendant of the kuru family okay kuru dynasty reveal o mighty youth your parentage and the dynasty blessed by your birth so he is asking karn to tell them who is um they who is his parents and uh, who are his parents and from which dynasty he belongs it is only after knowing your lineage that arjuna can fight with you for high born princes cannot engage in single combat with unknown adventurers so he is saying that only after knowing from which dynasty you belong from or who are your parents then only arjun can fight with you because he is a high born prince and high born princes cannot simply indulge themselves in fighting with uh, unknown adventurers who are i mean fighting with those who are not born born into a royal family who are simply adventurers so royal princes cannot fight with you unless you uh, disclose who are your parents and from which dynasty you belong Kern bent down his head like a lotus under the weight of rainwater. Now Kern bent down, he bowed down his head. Why? Because that was something which used to hurt him a lot. Because he was not knowing who are his real parents.